Hello there, I'm Adjo Hill. Welcome back to E4 playing Byzantium. It is 14th of January, 1740, and we're doing very, very well. Why is my double points able to go up to 1,000? I actually don't know how what determines the power save. I think it's like being behind tech or something. I'm not even 100% sure. Excuse me, why do you think you can just take my things of impurity? No. That does not belong to you. 25th, 29th. Okay, I guess it does. Please stop. Aha! It bent. Alright, killing troops there. Finally, the Lithuanians are starting to pull their weight, which is good. Let's keep moving. Our sieges are truckling in the east, which is brilliant. Got a small siege stack there, and the siege of Zutast is done. Where is the nearest fort? There basically now is not a fort for a very long time. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start sieging down large chunks of territory. And trying to use them to kind of blockade things. We do need to be a little careful. Get them, lads. Hey, victory. Ah, oh, get boomed. Nice. Okay. Let them. Cool. I I don't know. I'm fine. I can basically just keep moving as I like. I can kind of keep. I can kind of just keep moving to the pace that I desire. At this point. All right, let's get some siege boys. Not bad. Not bad. Yes, yes, yes. Attacking me, leave me alone. Go away. My people do not want to be bombarded with your hatred and meanness. Another nice sweet victory over here. Before... Ninjas are just kind of rocking up. We do need to now try and make a move more to the east because the troops are starting to kind of coalesce. Bugger. It's 7,000 that way. 21,000 that way and 2,000 that way. Perfect. Chaotic conscripts. The soldiers into one of our vassals, part of the army subsidizing a line have gone rogue. They are threatening the rebellion. Unless you have drawn the front of Aslan and let them come home. What? Oh dear. I fight rebels of my own soldiers now. Really? Here we go. I'll just kill them like that. No problem. How do I get 28 corruption? Because you get massive corruption for just owning too much land as of a few patches ago. Anything else? Quite fine, doesn't it? Okay, let's keep moving to the east because they are starting to combine their forces. But we're looking good. We're, doing, we're making a good pace. I do want to try and occupy this land before I have to take the French land, though. We are... Split up. Let's split these forces up so they have a chance to kind of reaffirm themselves. Help them out there. Portuguese rebels. Oh no, how will I survive? Yeah, I'm attempting to deal with my corruption. It is going down a little bit, but it's going to go back up soon. Oh, okay, we can do this. Yeah, it basically kind of is, it's, it's an attempt to kind of nullify lots of conquering. Let's go. Battle of Podolia, perfect. Great. Have a little rebel boy destroyed, and now let's go help them. 
Go, 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 go. Ah, damn. Technically, we're the attackers. Yeah, basically means you forced to spend a lot of money on this. Damn, we actually lost that. Bugger nation. Get back here. You will not escape me. Okay. Yeah, how does that, I, I guess basically loads of corruption, lots of territory is difficult to rule, right? Look at the Ottoman Empire. Look how almost impossible it was to try to administer such a massive realm. Great, keep going. What's me? What's me use approach? Eight. And small killing in there. Perfect. We've got lots of troops moving up. Moving on up. Uh, yeah, a couple big battles happening right here. They'll replenish nicely. Perfect. Over there. Oh, so much to maintain. We are still fighting a couple big fights here with a minus two. It's mountains, you jackass. I did not rip. Nah, no way I can get that. It's bloody mountains. Ah, I'm so annoyed. I didn't see that was mountains. I'm in the mountains. See you later, Andre. Oh, okay. So we're going to need to be careful again. We're being very dangerous here. And in terms of peace treaties. Um, I, oh, actually, we want to just do Russia separately from Circassia. I obviously do want to take literally all of the coast. And I've been dared to take Moscow. That's actually not too bad. <laughs> and to take all the Baltic coast. I can do it. I can take it. Who was it who dared me? Hey, Madriba, you tell the story of how you know the world famous MDB. Madriba, what's up, buddy? I know the world famous MDB because we played Horse Ford together ages and ages and ages ago. Sorry, I didn't see your comment, buddy. I'm so... It's just this war is just... Oh, my God. Oh, you should definitely check out my driver's channel if you haven't done so already. I'm sure you have, considering how world famous he's become with his 100,000 subscribers and his millions of views a month with his awesome videos that he's been doing recently. I've been watching them, man. I really, really am enjoying them. I don't even play freaking Pokemon or any other crap, and I'm still really actually enjoying them because they're genuinely made very enjoyably. So... Kudos to you, man. And in my people watching this on YouTube, if you haven't watched his stuff, you should go watch his stuff. It is weirdly different and changing, and yet Pokemon is a major focus, and it is just so... You just can't help but watch it. I don't know. I, wa I click, I'm like, oh, I don't want to watch that. I have nothing to do with Pokemon. I haven't made Pokemon in years. And then I watch it, I'm like, oh, I just want to know what happens, and I just watch the whole thing. It's like watching Desperate Housewives or some shit, but, like, not badly edited. You know what I mean? Good. You know the people unironically call me famous now, past 150k subs. 50k subs a month. It's, that is insane, man. You've hit a big burst. I imagine it'll die down at some point, but let's hope it doesn't die down for several years so you can hit several hundred million subs before it dies down. How's that? So fucking grinding a Pokemon is smart. Do it! Why, why does my chief mod... Why does my chief moderator just get a rocks off by absolutely abusing me? It's so mean and hurtful. I just realized I can actually do that piece now. Let me just check what I was supposed to do. I was dared to do a number of things. Let me take a look at my dares. What was my... and who? Let me check the dares. Let me check the dares. Let me check the dares. Oh, yes. Also, I have to do wipe out the Malakai 1759. That's fine. That's easily done. So the dares was the Russian Baltic coast and the Black Sea coast. The Russian capital... And continue until I get 100% war score. And you'll subscribe. Well, unfortunately, I don't think I can go all the way to 100% war score. Because I'm going to be in too many wars at once to do so. It's going to take too long. Um, but I can definitely take all the Baltic coast. I refuse to leave the stream. Alright, here we go. Well, I meant like, yeah, I don't mean like right now, F. I meant like, you know, go watch later on or something. You meanie, meanie, bobini. Ah, crap, 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 crap. What are you doing? Christophagus, add your please. Okay. 
Hang on, when do we get there? They get to Eckenberg on the 12th of September. We get there on the 8th of September. That is very doable. Okay. Let's get moving, guys. Here we go. You can have to take Siberia in this war. Next war, you have to siege it down. I don't want to take Siberia. Okay, I'll siege it down as much as possible. Why not? Let's just let's just go. Let's just take it all. As long as thingy is still here to do it. Okay, let's just get let's just get moving. We're gonna force march all the way to the east. Like, thank God for force march, honestly. All right, am I missing any soldiers? All right, back around we go. Get these guys to the east. Oh my god. You're going for Sunday challenge right now watching and practicing for it still sucks and watching the post. But no worries, buddy. Feel so free. I'm sorry for replying to chat a bit slowly. Um, but it is genuinely extremely taxing trying to maintain all these little combats. I also need to fight France in about six months. But that shouldn't be a problem. I have to fight them before there's any chance of rebellion uh, there's any chance of them joining the coalition. And then I need to fight the Mamluks to finish annexing them, because I promised I would. The problem is the Mamluks will call in 800 people in an alliance. So I need to do that in a separate war once Russia is done to annex the Mamluks. Um, in fact, I might get the claim on them. I did say I'd do it by 1759, so I will do that. Man of my word, guys. Man of my word. It looks like we're going to be able to get a beautiful mountain bonus, which is great. We're going to reinforce the north as well. Ah, oh, damn, what's this? How far are you retreating? Oh my god, they're retreating so far. Ugh! Okay, so the problem is there's just too many dudes here. Okay, they're still going there, which is great. We need a 6-4, perfect. 6th of October, perfect. Uh, let's get the five five over there. I haven't I haven't actually gone through the DDs for um, Imperator. I really should. So we're now trying to reinforce this mountain as quickly as possible. They are locked in. Shit. Shit. Um. So we have just been declared war on. The coalition has just fired. Okay, uh, and it's Celestia who called it. That's actually pretty good for us. That's actually really, really good for us. And I'll tell you why. Because it's forced the war to happen now. And okay, everyone is very strong, but I can siege down Celestia very quickly. Oh, wow. Look at that. Bengal already has 30... Okay, I'm going to have to peace out with this wall right now, then. Yeah. No, I can't wait for 100%. I did want to wipe them out, but I can take all the things that I was promised. Take all of this coast, to take all of that coast, and to take Moscow. Uh, additionally, we will get... Uh, war reparations, which is brilliant. Can't return any territories to anything I own, sadly. A lot of countries. Skovas, you can read never. No, no, I've already got never, mate. I can already read. Oh, you know what? Actually, yes. Nope, it's too much. Okay. What if I get one of war reps? Can I have it then? I can, unironically. Okay, the problem is I would still be at war with Circassia, and I do need to take Circassia. That would be 14%. Um. Christ, that's a lot of Diplo power for that, but there's no helping it. We So that's actually quite a lot. I will take that, take Moscow, and take all this. That would be fine. I'll take a little bit of cash. Perfect. So that's going to get me all that, all that, which means you owe me, mate, a tenner and a sub. <laughs> Boom. That's the way it works. I've got you written down. Melloris Krill, I haven't actually got the command plan set up. It is to form the Roman Empire. I need to fight France shortly. I always have a plan, Effer. This is just to kill the Russians. We've lost 428,000 men. How the hell have I lost 428,000 men? Christ, 153 of it was... Co oh. <laughs> 153 was coalition. And 281,000. They lost almost none to attrition. Okay. 
Brilliant, giving me lots of glory and goodness. Funnily enough, I do now have a mission fulfilled. What? No, I don't. Oh, recover Kaffa. Oh, there it is. It's in trade power. Perfect. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I forgot about the Recover Lombardia mission. Look how, how dishevelled I am, man. I completely forgot about the Recover Lombardia mission. So, if I just taken these territories here decades ago, literally a century ago, I could have got Recover Lombardia, and that would have given me 10% corporation cost for 20 years. I would have, That would have probably saved me about a thousand admin power. An absolute waste. Absolute waste. Oh my god, I'm salty right now, mate. I am salty. Use the war to annex Italia and some miners. Um, no, they're not actually in the war, weirdly. I will take the Mamluks in this war, but let's take a look at who we're fighting. This actually isn't too bad. This looks a lot worse than it is because they are mostly disconsolate. They are not united. So I'm going to try and get some soldiers together. And as you'll notice, the person who called the war is Celestia. The AI leader of this coalition is Celestia. What an absolute freaking idiot. Oh my god. Okay, so now we're just going to pull several dozen thousand men. Uh, several hundred thousand men, actually. The east. To the west, even. There is a lot of men in the south. I'm literally going to ignore it. Yeah. Um, and we're just going to siege this down as quickly as we can. Siege them down. Perfect. Oh, look, I have even more men here. Whoops. Hello. I have even more soldiers. Hi. And move them to the east. Perfect. Got some reinforcements coming. Uh, Lithuania is... Oh, um, OS is Brabant in the war. Oddly enough, they are not because they are in a truce, so I can't take stuff like that. But I could take Burgundy, which is always a possibility. Let's take the highest ex overextensions first. Ow, I need admin power, please. Please send help. Need admin power. <laughs> cool. You guys are going to combine to the to the east. I should not really have too much of a difficulty here. Um, and I don't have to worry about France anymore because they're not going to be able to join the coalition because the coalition's already fired. We're going to be fine. Unhappiness among the artisans. Oh, I'll happily lose the money. I don't care. Look, I can afford a trade company investment. How fun. <laughs> don't care. Uh, trades. Sure, why not? I don't care. Make a few classes. Like yeah, we'll see. I'll be all right. Now the issue is, of course, I have to wait for these to be finished before I can annex anything in Circassia. Because of the massive amount of overextension I've got. But troops are now on their way. Siege of Tabuk. Oh, 70,000 of these boys. Corrupt generals lose army tradition for literally no reason. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> you know, I never really play around with client states very much. But it's too late now. I am locked in. Each of Calais is over. That's right. 
Oh, we can... Portuguese flagship sunk. I would expect that to be the case, yes. Jesus Christ, they got that fast. How in the bloody hell did they do that? Come on, get over there. We should just use the shortcuts, but I'm not using it, so it's because I'm stupid. So we're gonna take we're gonna suffer a few intermediate losses now and again. It's a bit annoying, but that's alright. Alright, cool. Okay, what are you doing? Get over there! Awesome. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Do be sure to leave a like and a comment on this video. Let me know what you think of the series so far. I was Arjun Continue, but this has been E4 Byzantium. Now we're fighting a big coalition war, and then we're going to fight France. Bye-bye.